Welcome back to the second part of my tutorial. This part will be all about compositing. So we select the note editor and we select the composite notes and we select use notes. So the first thing I always do when I do compositing is to press the right mouse button, select add, output fewer. And this is just another preview which you can display in your UV image editor. If you select the UV image editor, you can select here your viewer node. So now that we have a good preview, we can get started we need to add our glow render layer. We only have our main render layer added right now. So we press the right mouse button, add input render layers and we select glow. Okay, I need my fuel down here. Okay, if you don't see any pictures, click re-render this layer or click F12 to make a complete uh, render of all layers. Okay, the edges of our glow object are very sharp, so we first blur them slightly. Select Add Filter Blur connect the image input and the image output and select blur type Gauss. We always will use the blur type Gauss. And select the very small strength into the X and Y direction. Well, about 4. Okay. Now we add some real glow. Therefore we also need the blur filter I just duplicated by pressing shift D. I connect image input and output but I increase the strength to be about 60 into X and Y direction. Now I add this really really blurred image over our original image. I select add color mix and I select the mix type add. Our second input is our blurred image, our first input is our original image. And that's the result. Well, we increase the add value, maybe about 2. That's a big glow effect. Okay, and now you maybe remember we had um, the cup. Um, we give the cup a different uh, index, and you can select that index with the converter ID mask. And we have here our index object output. We connect it, uh, connect it with our ID mask, and select the index of the cup, which was one. So, uh, this is our cup. Now we select Add Color Invert to invert the cup index. Okay, and we also blur that image slightly. We can use the same uh, blur node that we used before. I duplicated Shift D and connect inputs and outputs. And now we subtract our glow image. No, we subtract our cup image from our glow image. 
we add color mix and select subtract. The first input is our glow image and the second our cup image. Subtraction value should be 1. Okay, and now we add some additional smaller glow. So we take again our glow object and we blur it again. This time 20 in X and Y direction should be enough. And now we choose that blurred image to be added over our subtraction result. Add color mix, first input our last subtraction result, and the second input is that image choose mix type add, connect output with our viewer and that's the result. Maybe we increase the strength about 0.7. Okay. Now we need some color. So we add converter color ramp and connect inputs and outputs and here we choose add to add a new color position. And you can choose a color you want. I always like blue. It shouldn't be completely um, blue, that looks strange. Yeah, well, something like that. And maybe you move that color to the left direction a bit. Okay. And now we add that um, glow image over our other render layer, our main render layer. We need a color mix, and yeah, our first input should be our render layer output. Our second input should be that output. We choose add, we choose the add value 1, and we combine the output with our viewer. Okay, well, that's a bit too much glow. shouldn't change this value, maybe we change this value. And OK, we blurred the subtraction image too much. So we change that values to 1, only 1. OK. Increase that values as well. Increase that. Okay, you can play around with the add and glow values. The last thing you need to do is to combine our final output with our composite node input so that everything is applied to our final render. There you go. I think you can figure out by yourself how you do the reintegration. It's the same animation into the other direction. And here's one last tip. If you get some unknown internal boolean arrow, arrows, um, move the disintegration object into x or y direction so that nothing changes. And yeah, you can just hope that the errors won't occur anymore. That's it. See ya.